Evolving news out of Alameda County where four sheriff's deputies are under arrest this evening. KPI X5's Andrea Borba at the Santa Rita Jail will tell us deputies are accused of mistreating inmates. Andrea? Sheriff Ahern himself told KPIX5 that this investigation began back in January when internal affairs came to him with the allegations. Now, there are four guards allegedly involved Eric McDermott, Stephen Sarko, Sarah Krause, Justin Lynn. They are facing charges ranging from intimidation of a witness to assault under the color of authority. The four guards are accused of helping inmates gas each other. Now, that is a prison term, meaning to throw saved feces and urine at jail guards, and in this case, it was allegedly reversed with the guards helping inmates gas each other. This happened in the maximum security section of the Santa Rita jail, which does not have cameras in it. The four guards accused turned themselves in today. Sheriff Greg Ahern released this statement. We have completed a very thorough investigation. Only these four individuals are identified as involved in this criminal activity. We have sought charges against the four individuals, and they must now answer to these allegations. Although these allegations are shocking, the actions of these four individuals do do not reflect the professionalism and dedication of the 1,600 employees who work at the Alameda County Sheriff's Office. I am very proud of the employees who came forward to disclose this behavior. Sheriff Ahern also went on to thank the inmates who stepped forward with more information. We will have more on this story tonight on KPIX 5 News at 11 o'clock. Live at Santa Rita, Andrea Borba, KPIX. What's going on? It's your boy Trey back again. Hit you with a video. This video right here comes out of California. Basically, exposing what's going on across this country whether it's jails detention center or your state prisons but there's a problem when you have guards when you have people that work there who's supposed to come there and provide protection for these inmates and at the same time offer correction correction is when they get out of line protection is you might have enemies there you might have a lot of different conflicts there especially when you're dealing with grown men so you have to have boundaries set so we you need people that you can trust and that, that are trustworthy and that you understand and that you feel inside that can do the job. But what happens when you get people that you employ and they basically just as bad as the inmates that you have locked up? So who's the criminal and who should be really locked up? And this is very sad when you have guards allowing inmates to basically run amok and also terrorize and at the same time potentially hurt other inmates. So I'm going to read this look quote that they wrote in their little story and I give my opinion. It says a California County Sheriff's Office arrested four of his own deputies who are accused of allowing a maximum security prisoners to throw feces and urine at other inmates. Alameda County Sheriff's Office arrested his deputies on Thursday on charges of mistreating inmates at a Santa Rail jail. One deputy resigned and three others have been placed on administrative leave after Chef Gregory Ahern launched an investigation in January. But at the same time, I mean, and how long this been going on? How long they been knowing about these shit fights? Because I done talked to people who done been in these situations and I'm been involved in this stuff. So I'm going to tell you the real, how it really go down. This is what you call, and excuse my language, and if you don't like certain content, turn it off. But this is what you call a shit fight. This is what you call a dookie fight. This is what they say when you shit somebody down right here. And I know a lot of you all laughing like, what the hell do you mean by that? When they say shit you down, they really mean shit you down. And I ain't talking about I'm, I ain't shitting you. Well, if you don't believe something I'm saying, then I will try to make you believe it. It's not that. This is actually when they get milk cartons, sit it up in their cell, put hot sauce in it, pepper, salt, all kinds of stuff in there. Let that damn shit ferment in the damn cell that they in or dormitory, wherever they at. Nine times out of ten, they in the cell. And they let that, they let that feces ferment because you got to remember in your good ain't nothing but acid that's how you break down food that's how you break down beef that's how you're able to use the bathroom yeah and if it wasn't for for your stomach lining that acid inside you would burn a hole through your body you think you you, you think you full of shit right now let something happen to your stomach lining that's where you get glass gas and bloating and all that and you need to do your research now but anyway so you can imagine pretty much how strong people's stomach acid is and then imagine somebody letting that stuff sitting up in whether it's a cell or whether it's at your damn house, but we talking about jail right now because I hope none of you all have some milk cartons with shit sitting up in your bathroom waiting to shit your brother or your sister or your mama or your daddy or your grandma down. Your grandma get it too. But anyway, now, 
you have this acid in there and it's basically just bubbling and it's basically just getting stronger and stronger and toxic where it can take the paint off your ass you see what i'm saying i ain't talking about the paint off the off a car like um if it's hot outside and you got an egg and you throw it at the car and then tears the paint off no i'm not talking about that paint i'm talking about the paint on your skin you see what i'm saying i'm talking about your skin tone that's why when you see some of these guys they come out with their face a little uh, pink splashes here and there go do your research matter of fact look at some of your people and if you think i'm lying get some of your people that don't be in a situation let them watch the video they're gonna say yeah he's telling the truth now shit so strong it'll take your eyes out it'll blind you and don't get it in your mouth or your eyes no matter of fact your nose neither but you definitely don't want to get it in your eyes in your mouth you're gonna mess around and be looking like you don't smoke 10 uh big old blunts with snoop Dogg. your eyes gonna be red as hell like the devil and you might not be able to see again you feel what i'm saying so you literally would be full of shit so don't let that ever happen to you but isn't it sad that you would have these guards who's basically just as corrupt and as bad as the inmate that they have to look over and then they sit up here and allow these inmates to go to war with each other that's what it means you know, it's pretty much you going to war, but you ain't going to war with bullets. You got some other bullets. Bullets come out your ass. Now, I'm not trying to sound nasty. I'm trying to paint a picture. Now, maybe I'll paint a picture too well. Just call me Michelangelo or Leonardo da Vinci. You feel me? But at the same time, I'm trying to get you all to see what I'm talking about. When people sit up here and do stuff like that, not only are they sick, but also the people that's supposed to be watching over them are sick also. And I guarantee you, more than them people was involved. I bet it was some lieutenants involved. I bet it was some captains involved and probably some majors also. Who knows? Who knows? But I know one damn thing right here. If you ever had somebody throw shit on you, it's bad enough somebody spitting on you. Imagine how you feel somebody spit on you. Let's let that soak in for a second. Now imagine somebody taking their excrement, their feces, their hot shit. I don't care if it was solid. I don't care if it was diarrhea or whatever. And imagine they let that shit sit up somewhere for a, a week or two. You know how potent that's going to be? They can take that shit over there to Japan, to Fukushima right now. And I guarantee you, one of those milk cars can, can operate one of those reactors for about one year. You can run a whole nuclear reactor off of one of those damn milk cartons for one year. That's how strong that shit be. Now imagine... If somebody throw it on your face and, and, and you breathe that stuff in and better hope your mouth ain't open, your eyes ain't open. Ooh, you tell you're gonna be in a world of hurt. But this is what they talking about gassing down. It ain't gassing, it's called shitting you down. They just trying to be nice about the damn thing, just like they put a twist on everything else. But at the same time, see, they used to reserve them cartons for the guards. So when the guards come through there, might the guards might be messing over the guys, might be not letting the guys go outside, might be matter of fact. Basically trying to set the guys up on charges where they spit on themselves and they take these guys to these kangaroo courts or to the street courts and they end up getting another year or two, three add on to the sentence. And you wonder why your sons and your and your daughters and your uh, loved ones go to these institutions and they only supposed to do a year and they wind up doing five damn years because you don't know what the hell goes on in them places. But listen, let me tell you this right here those cars was once reserved for them, but some kind of way these guards come in and these guards might not like other inmates so instead of the guards putting themselves out there they'll get another inmate to do dirty work for them and that's how these guards got caught up because they just didn't come to work one day and say well look y'all start throwing shit on each other no i guarantee you one of those inmates pissed those guards off and those guards had had uh those inmates to retaliate for them basically they hit man you feel what i'm saying oh you want to talk shit to me you want to make my shit fall when i come to work guess what i'm gonna get shitty tony on you tonight your whole cell gonna be smelling like pelican bay and we ain't talking about uh pine pine saw pine or whatever the hell denzel washington say you're gonna be in there swimming in turds and motherfucking diarrhea so hey you know who knows but anyway let me know what you all think in the comment section because this right here is just a bunch of shit you know pretty much just a bunch of shit anyway this has been your boy trey if you got people locked up check on them continue to love them because you don't know what the hell them people go through in there. and just because people are in these institutions don't mean they're dead and they're they should be forgotten you know reach out to your people and just talk to them ask them what's going on sometimes they might can tell you because a lot of their mail get you know read and everything but talk to them and they'll tell you the same thing it's very crucial in there and everybody that goes there it's not built for that type of stuff you know i'm not built for it i don't want nobody throwing shit on me i'll be like the, i'll be like the wicked witch off of wizard of oz like i'm melting that's how exactly how i'll be but anyway if you like subscribe to next time stay blessed stay clean i'm out